Join us here at Last Adam Tabernacle as we bring Christ to the nation. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, good morning all of you. Good morning all of you. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. God is what? God is good and is very good. Hallelujah. Yes, it's good to see you here once again. And uh, yes, I hope God will speak to you today. Amen? Yes. Melissa, congratulations. Hallelujah. Yes. Congratulations. We are glad you're going to, to the school of your choice. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. You have many, you're going to have many OGs. Okay? You in Gaza? Yeah. Yeah, she's, she was in Gaza once. Yes. Uh, Christine. Christine was in Gaza. All right. Uh, who else was in Gaza? Who else was in Gaza here? Bridget almost went to Gaza, but she blundered and went to Namagonga. Okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Yeah, there's someone who is in the States. She was supposed, oh, that one's supposed to go to Budo. Yeah, but there was an op anyway, glory be, but the parents were thinking of Gaza. Okay, but God, yeah, decided otherwise. Okay? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, the first Sunday of this year was 7th January, and we read from Colossians chapter 4, verse 17. Uh, Paul said that, said to Achippus that, take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. Okay? So we took that as uh, a word from the Lord, that we should also fulfill whichever ministries or whatever work God has assigned unto us. Amen? Yes. And uh, please don't forget that. Amen? Fulfill the ministry which you have received in the Lord. All right? So whatever God tells you to do this year, please eh, uh, do it. Amen? Do it. Whatever God told you last year to do, and uh, it is supposed to continue even uh, in this year, please continue doing what you're supposed to do for the Lord. Glory be to God. Now, last Sunday, we said that more important than what we do for the Lord is what we become. Glory be to God. Most important than what we do for the Lord is what we become. Glory be to God. We read from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15, which says that, uh, that which says that we should grow up in all things into him who is the head. Okay, and that is talking about Christ. Okay, we're supposed to grow up in all things into Jesus. Hallelujah. That is the most important uh, desire that God has for our lives. Growing up in all things into his son, Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. The, the young people who are here, uh, most impo more important than what you do for your parents is what you become. Glory be to God. Is what you become uh, 
according to their desire. Not what you become in terms of uh, like the career you get to pursue, but what you become as, as a person of great character. Glory be to God. Okay, because you might be doing all the things that your parents want you to do, let's say at home, okay, housework. Yeah, but when in your heart eh, uh, you, are, you are on other things, you understand, eh? So most in, more important than what we do is what we become. Glory be to God. And this year, please don't forget that. Glory be to God. And how do we, be, how do we grow into Christ? Okay? The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, that, uh, that when we behold the glory of the Lord, we are transformed into the same image. Hallelujah. When we behold the glory of the Lord, when we behold Jesus, okay, the more you behold Jesus, the more the Spirit of God will transform you into that which you behold, that which you're beholding, and that is Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. And one of the ways we behold the glory of the Lord is by uh, spending time in his word. Spending time in the scriptures. Remember, according to Revelation chapter 19 verse 13, Jesus is the word of God. Jesus is what? Jesus is the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Bible says that his name is called the word of God. Hallelujah. So every time you, you spend time in the word of God, you are beholding Jesus. Glory be to God. Okay, you're beholding the Lord. Okay, and if you take heed to the things that you read or to the things that you yeah, that you hear being preached, things which are according to the word of God, then you'll be transformed into the image of the Lord. Glory be to God. You grow up in all things into him. Glory be to God. Okay, and that is very important. That is very what? Very important. Okay, the truth of the matter is that is God's highest desire. For every one of us. Okay? That is God's highest desire for every one of us. If you achieved this and you didn't achieve other things in life, okay? Man, in all eternity, you will be the greatest. Glory be to God. Okay? You will be the, you, you see, we are here for a very short time. Okay, we are here in our earthly bodies for a very short time. But there's a life that is coming, which is, it, it cannot even be measured in years. It is eternity. Okay, and what you will be in eternity is determined by what you do and become right now. In these few years, okay, in these few days that you have here on earth. In these are many days, <laughs> few days that you have here on earth. <laughs> Glory be to God. Maybe you prefer to hear a few years. Hmm? Because a few days looks like, hey, man, boss, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, okay. Glory be to God. The little hours that we have here, all right? Yes, we should become, okay, what God wants us to become. And that will determine uh, uh, what we shall be in all eternity. Glory be to God. Amen? So that is basically fulfilling the will of God for our lives. Okay? What, when you do what God wants you to do, when you become, okay, when you steadily become 
what God wants you to become, then you're fulfilling God's will for your life. Hallelujah. Amen? You're fulfilling what? God's will for your life. Glory be to God. Amen? Now, uh, God is a good God. God is what? God is a good God. God is not only interested in uh, God, yeah, God is not only interested in what you do for him and what you become in Jesus, okay? God is also interested in doing things for you. Hallelujah. Please don't forget that. Eh? As we talk about doing things for him, becoming what he wants us to become, okay? Please also understand that he's a good father. He's a good God. He's also interested in doing several things for you. Hallelujah. Okay? And yesterday, as I was seeking him what uh, I would share, uh, uh, what I, I would share today, I felt like he was telling us that he would fulfill his word or his promise to you. Glory be to God. Okay? That this year, okay, just as you're committed to doing his will, just as you're committed to becoming what he wants you to, to become, he's also committed to doing his good will. Okay? His good word, his good promise to you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen? Yeah, please remember that. He not only wants you to do things for him, okay? He also wants to do things for you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So this year, we should expect, or rather he wants you to expect, okay, his goodness unto you, specifically, of fulfilling certain promises, okay, that he gave you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You see, you cannot outdo God. Glory be to God. You cannot do what? You cannot outdo God. Okay? You cannot do <laughs> uh, more things for God than he, than he can do for you. Eh? Is that right, English? Okay, basically, you can't outdo God. Okay, you cannot say, God, let us compete, and we see who does more good things for the other. You understand? Eh? By the way, he would want to, to hear you say that one day, that God, let us compete. Hallelujah. Brother, he will smile, and say, aha, now you start. Okay? He'll give you an opportunity to do what? To start. And then he'll be so pleased as he watches you doing things for him, which he has told you to do. Glory be to God. And then, eh, you know, eh, he might even let you <laughs> do as, until you're done, and, and he hasn't yet started. Glory be to God. Then he's like, okay, Kali, now let me what? Let me start. Then he will do for you one thing. One thing. And you say, ah, this game is not fair. <laughs> this game is not what? For you've done, let's say, 20 things. Then for him, he does one thing. And you're like, ah, let this stop. Okay? It is not what? Fair. You, because my, your one thing has trumped my 20 things. Glory be to God. And then that one thing, okay, can produce 30 things. Do you understand? That one thing it does, okay, can be so big, okay, and by it or through it, he even does 30 things. Hallelujah. 
For example, let's say you want a good job, you're single, you want a good spouse, you want a house, you want a car, you want what? You want what? Okay? You don't want Gaza because you have already been to Gaza. Okay? <laughs> That's why now you have a good job. Okay? So, huh? You want a good job, you want a car, you want a house, you want uh, a good spouse. What else? Good job usually refers to money. Okay, yeah, now a good job, but also more money. Like some side, you understand? Eh? Uh huh. What else? Eh? Ah, very important. Can you imagine? How could I miss that? Children. <laughs> okay? It is only messed up whites who marry and they don't want what? Uh, children. Hopefully, you won't get into that stuff. Eh? Amen? Hopefully, you don't what? You won't get into that nonsense. Eh? Glory be to God, where you call your dog, your child. And maybe it is coming, and I think it has begun. Okay? When we were at school in the U.S. with uh, Flora, we had, uh, I think she was called an administrator, and some lady, I think she was called Juanita. Eh? <laughs> that, anyway, you know, but, and it's coming here. Okay? Ten years ago, we used to laugh over these things of dogs. But now, eh, each and every day when you see people who have dogs, you can see we are, what? <laughs> we are going there. <laughs> Glory be. But eh, nothing is wrong with dogs, okay? Eh, but, uh, but some, you can cross a certain line. Okay? And so this lady had dogs. So she used to, she was friends with uh, <laughs> Flora. Okay? So she used to tell Flora how she's taking she used to call it her child, her child. So she's taking the child, a dog, to its grandparents. They think, what, they, what, they are looking forward. Uh, all of you will have dogs. If you don't care, you're going to get there. If you don't get, you're going to get there. <laughs> if you don't get there, your children are going to get there. Okay, so she would tell what, you know, Friday, eh? any, maybe I'm exaggerating, any, but there was a thing like, she's taking the dog, okay, to its grandparents, like, give money, you know, no, she's telling a stranger that, she's not even telling a friend, meaning that's a big deal, man, strangers have to hear the, yeah, the good progi for the weekend, okay, the dog is being taken to its grandparents, now, the grand, the, the grand parents are not dogs, Okay, they are Juanita's parents. Okay, they are Juanita's what? E, humans. Maybe let me emphasize that. Okay, yeah. It's coming. It's what? E, you, yeah, unless the Lord comes quickly before Africa also gets what? Real messed up. Glory be to God. Okay? Hallelujah. And let me leave. What this this dog thing? Glory be to God. <laughs> they are there to write to my neighbor at home. Okay? Some lady, my immediate, you know, eh? he, she has a puppy, eh? Puppy. And I think it's cute, I don't know, but it's white. You know those those small things, eh? He. But then you wonder this one, where did she get what? Is it peer pressure since all Ugandans now have dogs now? Eh? Because, man, eh, this dog, which is supposed to be, you know, eh, was always on the road. What? The other day it was in the tr trash bin. You know, eh? Hallelujah. Because at, at, on a certain day, any of the garbage collectors drive through the state to pick the. Garbage. So in your homes are told to put the garbage outside there, what? Hey, we get. So you saw this thing, man, was eating in there, man. I was like, now this one, where did she get? <laughs> She's not behaving like what? Anyway, then, yeah, it had made it a habit to do its, 
Yeah, it's what? Business at our gate, man. So, I was, so you see now, eh? So someone is getting a dog, either it's peer prep, called, dogs are cute, you know, eh? No, she gave, but you can see she can't, what? So I was like, I need to, no, I, I need to stop this. So I wrote to her on WhatsApp, okay? But you know, you sandwich, yeah? There's that method of communication, which I rarely use, especially in church. <laughs> when you sandwich the bad news, okay, within, yeah? in the middle of good, good stuff, you know. And yes, so I told her, yeah, you know, eh? hallelujah. So I told her how her puppy is cute, you know. Eh? Yeah, you're cute, what? <laughs> puppy. But then I like, but it might get sick. Yeah. Because when I see it outside, then the other day I saw it in the what? Gab eh, eating from what? It might get sick. Eh? Then I say, and... Yes, yeah, tell your maid or your, or your kids that, because eh? it's doing whatever. Eh? Eh. Then I summarize my message by saying that, by the way, I like your children. Eh? They're very nice children. <laughs> and I was sincere, by the way. I wasn't lying. Eh? Her kids, Bambi, are nice. Eh? She has two or three kids. Eh. Of course, they're nice from what I see. What they do, uh, what, that's another thing. Glory be to God. A okay, sandwich. Please learn those things. Eh? Communication. <laughs> I know them. Yeah. So since then, I've never seen that puppy. I haven't seen it. I don't know whether it's still there or they tied it on a rope. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. And uh, yeah, so you want children? Okay. A good job. Money, a car, a house, children, dogs, eh? You want more dogs, uh huh? What else? Huh? Health, uh huh? Health, yeah, health. Health or health insurance? <laughs> health and the ability to pay for your, if you get sick by mistake, the ability to what? Yeah, anyway, uh huh? What else? Learn, aha, uh -huh, land in wherever, Untungamo, Kamwenge, all those, what? Yeah, aha. Uh -huh. You guys, you don't know what you want. <laughs> the only thing that you want is to, is to grow up in all things into him. <laughs> holiday, yeah, holiday, where? Now, there's this other thing that has now, now is putting people in pressure. I don't know which scripture people read, that a holiday must be out of the country. <laughs> I don't know which scripture, eh? Okay, and now it is what? But there's nothing wrong with holidays out of the country. I've ever taken a holiday out of the country. I know people have taken a holiday out of the country, but you understand. Eh? However, please remember that there's no scripture, eh? You understand, eh? So if you don't take a holiday out of the, the country, you're not a sinner. You know, you're not a sinner. And if you have a spouse and, you know, your spouse has jammed the holiday out of the country, please don't look at your spouse as what? You understand? There's no scripture. Okay? Uganda, man, the government of Uganda is encouraging you guys to take holidays in Uganda. Mugende Koku, Queen Elizabeth. Very expensive. Yeah. It's cheaper to go out. How much is, is a ticket to Canada? <laughs> now you're keeping quiet. <laughs> eh? I heard then what you're going to spend there. Yeah, please. Okay? Yeah, you then don't have to pay actually. Some places you don't have to pay. You just go to the village. Okay? Your village in, in Fort Porto, you're going to see things for free, isn't it? You tell them, eh? It says, isn't that true? Yeah, you're going to see craters. You're going to see Mount Renzori. You know, eh? Which whites are paying to come here and see? You understand, eh? Semuliki, uh -huh. what else? Yeah, hot springs, eh? 
Pharaoh, eh? Yes, you can send for Porto drive through or Queen Elizabeth for free, isn't it? Because there's a road through there. Yeah, there's a road that you whatever through when you're going to Ishaka Wisheni. Yes, you don't have to pay. <laughs> I've never used that road, so I know. <laughs> okay? So anyway, with all those things eh, that you want, do you know that God can do for you just one thing and it brings forth all those things? One. For you, you've done 20 for him. Then for him, he just does one. And that one thing, okay, it comes with all those other things. Glory be to God. For example, you want a good job. Do you know that with one, that one good job, <laughs> okay, that one good job, that job can bring all the other things. Do you understand? Money. Of course, they're going to pay you money. As a job, isn't it? Eh? But then you wanted more money. Then that job will pay you exceedingly. You know, eh? Those things where you, they ask you, Mugundi, interview, that how much money do you want? Then you say, ah, it is up to you, Ugandans. <laughs> Ugandans, someone needs to teach us how to answer such what? It's up to you, whatever, whatever you want. Eh? And maybe it's because Bambi were usually desperate, you know. Eh? It's up to you. But be asking, what do you want? It's not that if you tell them, that anyway, what do you want? Okay, so you tell them, let's say, okay, how much? <laughs> how much? Eh? Ten million, uh-huh. Then, then you they say, okay, yeah, so, okay, we shall get back to you, those things. Then you get out of the interview room, then you find a line there, man. Then you realize that, hey, you got to the band. <laughs> you saw. <laughs> yeah. Then even the way, when you look at them, they all just appear too sharp. Too sharp as you just say, man. Okay, anyway, two weeks later, they get back to you. Okay, and yeah, they're offering you 20. Okay, because you, you, you know, many of these things happen. These things have happened to people when they're given much more than what they asked for. Okay, it just happened, eh? okay? Now then, you start that job. Of course, the manners have will come in. From that time onwards, you can go for ho holiday once a year, wherever you want, because Saint was in now. Okay, hallelujah. Then, kumulimu, hmm? Let's say you are, you are what? A chick or a guy? Okay? Let's say you are a guy. Okay? You're 20 what? 27. Aha. Niwa jao sam ka spirit-filled intern from Gaza. Glory be to God. spirit filled, you know, eh? Word, eh? Word best. Eh? <laughs> you understand? Then somehow she likes you and you like her. Glory be to God. Okay? Can she just good spouse? She went there. Okay? Let's say that job which you got was HR, you know? So you even look through her, her whatever, while she was in high school and she was in Gaza. Man, you know. <laughs> but for me, I always prayed. Have I told you this? Yes. I always, I was like, God, okay, let your will be that naive for me. I prefer, okay, a girl who went to what? To Gaza. But it, it was a big deal to me, okay? And when you think about it, it's not a big deal where someone went to school. But it was a big deal to me, okay? But I was like, name kama, bobo na yo, you know, eh? You're like, this, my son Moses is so good. You know, I say, it's okay. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. 
And you saw then Kumurimo in Yokoya Motoka. Nivokwanechi? Ne Motoka. I tell with the driver. Glory be to God. I tell you, you know, a Motoka from Japan, which Ugandans call new, but they are old. <laughs> eh? Glory be to God. You know those cars Ugandans call new, but when they are not new, glory be to God. I and Bruce drive those cars. <laughs> I didn't want to say Bruce drives that car because eh? but I and you, eh? we are together in this thing. Hallelujah. <laughs> and by the way, it is not only us the two in this place. There are several. So anyway, it comes with a what? With a car. Eh? Yes. Brand new. Glory be to God. Okay. Then it comes with those things of health insurance. Eh? Those things, eh? health. Mm -hmm. Workplace, mulimu ne gym. Okay. By the way, I was telling someone, was it you? Okay. With some people that when we get our land and we begin to build, land for church, eh? not our land for my home. You understand church land. I'm telling you, you see, this is now where we are, where there is what? Where people can exercise and be healthy. But, what you have to do is not to do Okay? No, not to do it. Glory be to God. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to or whatever gym. Do you understand? Eh? Places abroad, eh? uh, Google, what? Eh? They have, you understand? Eh? They, you know, eh? that way. Eh? So the employees are healthy, they, you know, eh? okay? They even have those things where, like if you are like a mother, where kids can, eh? nursing homes are what? What? What's crash now? <laughs> yeah, but now that's a baby, but there are also some other, like, older kids. Yes. So, they are taken care of. I think for free, it's not that, what? Do you understand? But it's going... I don't know whether it should only be for employees. Okay? Dennis, you, you get a dream, man, what? <laughs> hey, you understand? <laughs> I'm telling you, eh, because you see, yeah, yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't have people who are working at church, and because they are working at church, they're getting sick. You understand? Eh? They're getting sick. Okay, what you have to do on Wednesday, you have to go to the Okay, trainer, you have to go to the church. You have to go to the church. Hey, you have to go Hallelujah. You have you know? And after gym work, you have to go Go home, you know, eh? None of those things of what you have to do, what you have to do, what you have to But I'm going to do it. Glory be to God. I'm going to do what? <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So health, taken care of. What else? House. I mean, yeah, house. Man, if you begin at 27 and you're earning 20M, a house is what? In fact, on day one, when you're going to bank, mortgage, day one, well, this is my contract. You see, 20M, no bank will refuse. Hallelujah. And anyway, what I'm trying to tell you is that you cannot outdo God. You cannot do what? Now, so what, when God tells you, do this for me, please understand that he also has plans to do good for you. Glory be to God. And by the way, he's committed to it. It is not a by the way, he just wants you to work for him and work and work and work. Hmm? 
<laughs> I have a sister who yeah, some time ago when she wanted money from me, okay, she's asking me for what? Money, but she has to find a way of getting the money uh, from me. You should begin by <laughs> telling me how man, eh? God loves his servants. God rewards his servants. God rewards his servants. <laughs> And somewhere, along the way, she asked me for what? Yeah. Because, man, God will reward this servant. God blesses his servants. Hmm? But when she wants what? <laughs> anyway, my point I'm trying to make is that uh, God is committed to doing good things for you. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 29, okay, from verse 10, okay, it says that, For thus says the Lord, after 70 years are completed at Babylon, so he's telling the Jews, eh? okay, they are in exile in Babylon. He tells them that I will visit you and perform my good word towards you and cause you to return to this place. Glory be to God. I will visit you and perform my good word to you. What was that good word? It was a promise he had given them that he would bring them back into the land of Israel. Glory be to God. So I believe this is what God is telling us, that he will visit us this year and perform his good word towards us. Okay? Then in verse 11, he emphasizes that that good word that he's going to do is indeed a good word. For he says that, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Glory be to God. Amen? So there are promises you have. Eh? Okay? God is intent he's committed to fulfilling them this year hallelujah however difficult they might seem to your mind glory be to god when you look at this thing and say ah, this is what this is difficult how will it happen okay the bible says in jeremiah 32 24 okay from 24. Okay, so now this is Jeremiah speaking to the Lord. Okay, remember at this time the Babylonians or the Chaldeans have attacked Israel. Okay, Judah. Okay, so Jeremiah tells the Lord in verse 24 that look, the siege moans. They have come to the city to take it, and the city has been given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Okay, Babylonians. Okay. Then, then he says that what you have spoken has happened. Okay, God had warned them. Eh? And he had told them this is going to happen to you because of sin. So Jeremiah is saying that what you have spoken has happened. There, you see it. And you have said to me, oh Lord, now is a God. They're totally serious. Okay? <laughs> we have been attacked. We have been taken over. And then you have said to me, Buy the field for money and take witnesses. Eh? Basically, people to sign eh? the, the transaction. Yet the city has been given into the hand of the Chaldeans. God, it didn't make sense. Okay, of what use is it? We are going to be taken into exile. Who will ever be interested in this land? And anyway, why buy it? Why sh should the entire use that? money for something else the little that i have eh? to get them exile <laughs> okay then god then the bible says in verse 26 that then the word of the lord came to jeremiah saying behold i am the lord the god of all flesh is there anything too hard for me another version says that is there anything too difficult for me Glory be to God. 
Okay, is there anything what? Too difficult for me. Okay, then it continues to say, Behold, okay, it says that, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me? Then let's scroll down to verse 37. Verse 37 says that, Behold, okay, now he's saying what is going to happen, okay, a few years thereafter. He said, Behold, I'll gather them, the Jews, out of all countries where I have driven them in my anger, in my fury, and in great wrath. I will bring them back to this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. All right? Verse 43 says that, And fields will be bought in this land, of which you say it is desolate without man or beast. It has been given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Men will buy fields for money, sign deeds, and seal them, and take witnesses. Where? In the land of Benjamin, in the places around Jerusalem, in the cities of Judah, in the cities of the mountains, in the cities of the lowland, and in the cities of the south. For I will cause their captives to return, says the Lord. Glory be to God. Okay? When God told Jeremiah, man, buy land. Hmm? <laughs> okay? Glory be to God. For us who were here in 84, 1984. Hmm? Okay, 1984. Okay? Hallelujah. Any, that was, you've heard of the bush war? <laughs> it's like, please, Pastor, don't ask me a question. It is always me that you ask, you, you got on history. Okay? So anyway, that was during the war. No. So just imagine, eh? You are in the middle of war. You know, eh? There was a time when, in fact, they took over Western Uganda. Okay? The rebels. The what? Led by who? Museveni. <laughs> Say, the rebels led by who? <laughs> Museveni led the rebels. Okay? They took over Western Uganda. Okay? During that time, that's when people like Nobo Mayombo eh, joined, eh, you know, eh? they were university kids. That's when they joined, either university kids or high school kids. Okay? Now, so just imagine eh, you are in that mix. Okay, you are in that mix. <laughs> By the way, there's some guy, eh, during that time, okay, they are taking over Fort Porto. So this guy is uh, Randis. Yeah, his dad w was Randis, but his mom, M. Toro. So they were staying in, in Toro. He was a young kid at that time, about 12. Eh? And so, some chaps, some men came to visit the father. Okay? Some men did what? Came to visit the father. And they were talking, but they came with Bikapu. Do you know Bikapu? Man, this teenager is Bikapu. Would you clear Bikapu? <laughs> what are they called in English? But they wrote Bikapu. They are Bikapu, which used to be for shopping. They're not there anymore. Where? But in Insasa, they are not there. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. And yeah, so yeah, those big couples, the real ones, okay? So in a way, at the same point, they went out with a dad, eh? okay? Apparently to take a drink. But they, they put the big couples under the bed. So this, this young kid was watching them, eh? And he was curious, eh? where are these big couples being kept, what? And I bet, so when they had left, okay, this boy, but he used to be in this church, he went to find out what kind of big couples are kept under beds. So he pulled them out. Man, and you know what was in those big couples? They were guns. They were guns, man. <laughs> So those guys were rebels also. Okay? Guns, man. Hmm? So, man, you just see people walking, you know. Yeah? 
but you don't know what they are carrying. So be careful, eh? Abusing people on the road. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so imagine the place has been invaded. Okay, or oh, but anyway, you know, the, the army is fighting, rebels are fighting. And in that fighting, the Lord, eh? And you dream. You have a dream, and God is saying, You buy land. I didn't know into those ends in what? Where they know, no, here, buy land. What do you do? So, anyway, it happened to Jeremiah, so buy land. Meanwhile, there's war, but also there's another dream which says that you're going into captivity. You're going to be thrown out of Uganda by land. <laughs> now, let me ask Mr. Umayani, what would you do when your wife, in the middle of war, at Mugenamu captivity, Nagamanalo say, God said we buy land. What would you do? You should do what? I should have that dream again. <laughs> have the dream also. <laughs> <laughs> but these things are what? Difficult stuff. Huh? Difficult things. Very difficult decisions to make. Okay? This is when, this is why God tells Jeremiah. Is anything too difficult for me? Glory be to God. Then later he helps him and, and he tells him that you buy in years to come, they will return. By the way, I believe that by the time they returned from exile, Jeremiah wasn't even alive. You understand? Eh? Because when they came back from exile, Jeremiah is not heard of. Now you hear of other people like Zerubbabel, you know, eh? Jeremiah is eh. Okay, so what happened to his land? What happened to what happened to his land? What happened to his land? His descendants. Very simple. Yeah. Hallelujah. And, but the point, the most important point is nothing is too difficult for the Lord. Glory be to God. Nothing is too difficult for the Lord, even when a promise, like you look, uh, this can't happen. Okay? I advise you don't say that. Don't say that this can't what? The Bible says nothing, okay? God asked Jeremiah, is there, is anything too difficult for me? And of course the answer is no. Glory be to God. Okay, in Luke chapter 1, verse 36, okay, the angel, Gabriel, appears to Mary, okay, they talk, and among the many things, or the few things they say, the angel tells uh, Mary that, that uh, indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. Okay? There are two things in there. She's old. You understand? Eh? Number two, she's barren. Okay? Then the angel, because he, the angel knows he's speaking to a human who is like, you know, old and Barren. The angel adds and says that, for with God, nothing will be impossible. Glory be to God. Nothing will be impossible. Glory be to God. The thing that the Lord is going to do for you, or for us, eh, which, humanly speaking, your mind is like, Okay, let me just watch and see how you're going to what? to pull this off. Okay, and God says that what? For with me, nothing will be impossible. Glory be to God. How will God pull off the impossible? 
okay? The things he wants to do for you in 2024, okay? Since you're also going to do things for him, how is he going to pull them off, okay? In Luke chapter 1, verse 30, okay, this same angel, okay, told Mary that, uh, do not be afraid, Mary, for your phone favor with God, okay? So that's when he, he appears to her. Then in verse 31, he says that, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I do not know a man? How can, eh? you know, Mother Mary. Hmm? Mother Mary. Hmm? You know, I went to St. Mary's College, Chisubi. So we had uh, a certain, there was a, a, a technical institute. I think it was called Uchisubi Technical Institute, right? We're nearby. So, yeah, so they used to call us Batabani Ba Maria. <laughs> okay? Batabani Ba Maria. Okay? So, anyway, and so the man, well, you, know, you know, remember this is Holy Mary, you know. She must have been said, eh? she must have said how? Huh? What did she say? Who has a good soprano? And yet, a soprano. How? Hmm? Who is that? <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. And so, where's the verse? Okay. Then she said, yes. How can this be since I do not know a man? She wasn't yet married. The, the marriage hadn't been consummated yet. Okay. And she's like, how can this be? Okay. Because she didn't hit what? Hey. But she was like, God. Okay, Mr. Gabriel. Okay, and what did the angel tell her? The angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of of God. Glory be to God. But uh, sometimes it's okay to ask God. Okay? There was a man who told Jesus that, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Hmm? Like, this is hard. Hmm? Glory be to God. Okay? So sometimes it's, it's okay to ask the Lord, how are you going to do this? Glory be to God. How are you going to do this? Hmm? Before I forget, there's a thought which has come in my, in my mind. But I've said it here before. Hmm? If you have decided to walk with the Lord, and hmm? say, Okay, some place in the interior. Now, you especially you, you, you the young ones. Okay? Yeah. God, if you have decided, God, I love you, I will, I will do whatever you want me to do, you, you, like, you know, eh? and that's great, eh? and that should be the aspiration of every Christian. Now, God will give you a promise. Hmm? Okay, then you believe him. You hold on to his word. Huh? Okay? And in a short while, without any hassle, hmm, the promise will come to pass. Glory be to God. Then you say, praise the Lord, man. Okay? We call for testimonies. You'll be the first to run up here. Hmm? 
Then after some time, a few months, oh well, yeah, but less than a year, he give, he give you another one. Hallelujah. Then, of course, your faith will be strong because you know God is a promise keeper. Okay? I know that you read it in the Bible. You experienced it firsthand. Eh? Okay? It is June. You experienced it in January. Okay? So you, hold, you know, you believe him. You testify. Okay? But, yeah, among the many promises he will give you, you know, one will be, will be harder than the first one. Okay? All right? Anyway, the point I'm and to make is that God will always take the game higher. Is that the right way to say? Because you know what I mean. We always what? You, you know. <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. But it will be the same thing. A promise. What will be required of you will be the same thing. Believe. Okay? In the believing, he might even tell you something to do as you believe. Eh? Do this. So it will be the same thing. But this time, okay, there will be resistance if it wasn't there at first. Okay? Or if it was, if it was there at first, it will be more resistance. And sometimes it is not even resistance. Sometimes it is just, you just have to wait a little longer. Glory be to God. Okay? And the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, if you're 25 now, if you decide to work with the Lord, seriously, eh? God, by the time you get to 50, eh? you know, in fact, there will, be, there will come a time when he will give you a promise, hmm, and it will be so hard, the resistance will be um, um, like big time, and then you will even tell God, this should be the last time. You understand? Eh? You are God, I will continue to love you, Naekati. If you are believing you, holding on to your word, this is the last time. Okay? Yeah, I believe you. You are faithful. Ah, yeah. Me. Hallelujah. Then, then after some time, that promise will come to pass. Okay? But believe me, you, after two months, you tell God, send me another one. <laughs> because you realize that there's a way in which you can, like, life is not worth living without without uh, like you don't have something you're looking forward to. Glory be to God. Which is of God. Glory be to God. So, yeah, just know that. Just know what? Just know that. Okay? For me, I wasn't told that. Glory be to God. Maybe I was discipled by what, people who hadn't had those experiences with God. Okay? But just know that. Glory be to God. It will happen. But it might not happen because it might not happen. Ah! Then there will be some times when, when he might, when that thing might not even occur. Hmm? Nichi Ghana. And God won't say, no, 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 wait, it's coming. He will also will tell you that, yeah, it hasn't happened. It hasn't what? But it was God, and it is him who's telling you, yeah, either the enemy has stolen it or whatever. And then there are those things where for a promise to come to pass, uh, for example, if you're married, okay, where now for that thing to come to pass, it takes two. 
you know, eh? if you're married, for example, you know, eh? uh, what example should I give? Anyway, you know, when it takes two. So God gives the promise to, no, I don't want to what? Some people to get annoyed with me, to Rachel, okay. okay. To someone called, uh, who? <laughs> someone called, uh, you give me a name which is not in this church. Ah, oh, there's a Mary, there's a, a Mariam, please. <laughs> uh-huh. Someone called what? Georgina. Hmm? Georgi, eh? Georgi, Georgi, Georgina. Okay, God gives her a promise. Okay? But it's going to take two. She's married. The husband has to play a part. Okay? And the husband refuses. You understand? They do things. Then they do their things where the enemy just messed it up. And God tells you, yeah. So there, there will be those things. Okay? And then, you know, then God again. Anyway, so there, there's going to be those things. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So just know, as you walk with the Lord, okay, God will, you know, eh? and you see, he trusts you because you've had a relationship. You see, by the time God told Abraham that offer unto me your son, your only son, whom you love, and the offering, God made it clear, and Abraham knew what it meant. It didn't mean that uh, be without your son for six months. Yeah. Kill him as an offering. That's what it meant. And Abraham, no, no. So that wasn't, you see now, that's big. That is what? Man, that's huge. First of all, it had never happened before. God had never told any human to do that. Okay? And remember, this is a son of promise. This is a son. God has said that through him, okay, I'll make you, okay, I'll make your descendants numerous. You'll become a father of many nations. And it's going to be through, uh, uh, Isaac is going to be the heir. And then God said, now kill him. Glory be to God. It's okay, I guess, you know. Eh? Because there's something where you, you need to be sure. Is it the Lord? Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, but what I want to say is that that wasn't the first promise God was giving to Abraham. Abraham yaliya is a momite in the langakati level jali ko Premier League. But sinia sibu no Africa Cup of what? Yi yali chi sinia kati azania te top no you you've heard of those uh, with teams which score five zero. Glory be to God. Huh? <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> now, Akazi, God should help women. Hmm? You at my home, okay? With your husband, what? Anyway, I think it was before a marriage fellowship, eh? before he started. So we're there at Tula Wompia. Then Esther now was like, Kati, hey, yo, Premier League, hey, yo. Mwe muli team zingazi ase no what? I was like, now, women, and I tell my wife every day that, women, you, you just leave football. As in, tite mutu Okay. Her mother, okay, was at my home recently. Okay. Tulabo, undawa mpira kwa ange. Okay, I'm watching my game. Then it is zero zero, you know. Then she's behind that. Then she asks me that now, if they don't score, will they be paid? I even didn't respond. 
I just got my phone and wrote to her husband and her children. I was like, please call your mother and, and answer her questions. And they, for me, I don't have the strength to answer such questions. I wrote to all her kids, please, your mother. That, that you, if they don't score, will they be paid? Now, this is a, a lady who grew up here in Uganda. Going to schools, boys are playing football, girls are playing football. Okay, not at school, even compound. Yeah, one was a young Peter, Katiambo Zambo, Bubatawa, Teba, Abu Banabasas. Esther is not laughing because she didn't know the answer. Which is like, now nah, get some money. <laughs> Glory be to God. And so, expect that. Expect what? You walk with the Lord, name Mbabuli, the word is coming for you. Do you understand? God will always take the game higher. And he trusts you that you believe him. Glory be to God. Because you've learned by experience that he's faithful. I tell you, it is enjoyable, eh? Because when the word comes to pass, you are a man. Eh? Then you even say, now God, what next? What, what should I believe you for next? Glory be to God. Remember, there's nothing too difficult for the Lord. Okay? Nothing is impossible with God. Glory be to God. Okay? There's some of you who have promises of that kind. When you, <laughs> when you look at them with your educated minds, your sensible minds, you're like, you know, ha. Okay? That's why some people now will run from one prophet to another. I had a dream. I had two dreams. Okay? One dream was in January. Then in March, I had another one. The dreams are the same. Okay, mean that it's good. No question to <laughs> so it's huge. You're like, how will this come to pass? Do you know what people do? That's when they start running from what? Prophet to what? Hey, give me what? Give me what? But the word you want is what? You know, eh? you okay. Let's see, believe dreams, Zili. Then maybe he says that. Okay. Yeah, but God, I need more what? Confirmation. Then you run to what? Prophet praise. You know, eh? That's because at times, man, man, you use your mind, you're like, man, this thing, eh? too big. Glory be to God. But remember that God is what? He's faithful. Nothing is too difficult for him. With him, all things are what? Possible. Hallelujah. So he's going to do that, okay, the impossible things. Okay, just like he did it with Mary. He's going to do it by his spirit. Glory be to God. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6, you all know it. Okay? The Lord told Zerubbabel. So they had come back from exile. They had come back from Babylon. Now they're building the temple of the Lord. And there is great resistance from the people who had taken over the land. Okay? Who had, anyway, who had been brought. Okay? They are being resisted, okay? Then the, then the word of the Lord, okay, came to Zerubbabel and it was saying that, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Glory be to God. As a Ugandan, where were promises? Katonda Zakuwa. If it, if it is to come to pass, ah, wait, uh, you are going, how is this going to pass when I don't have a relative? Okay? A relative in some big office. The way Uganda operates, wait, I got your relative. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> 
when you look among your relatives, huh? then you get to hear that her pastor Moses, when he was in Smack, Mohoz was also in Smack. Ah, my pastor Moses, I'm not in Mohoz. I'm not in Buzeko. I'm not in Okunyamba. To talk to Mohoz. Then you come to me and I'm a man. I was in Smack, yes. Mohoz was in Smack, yeah. Na ye, I never talked to him. Tamani. So, it's all a kuyamba, boss. Okay? Just believe your dream. Good. With good, all things are possible. Just, yeah, you know. <laughs> Glory be to God. This is what I'm Then you're like, ah, but Dr. Udenes works with means of education. And, eh? Kata, eh, Mrs. Kata, Kata Hajani, you know. <laughs> so maybe I can talk to him. Maybe he has access to, to her. You come to Dr. Dennis, but as you come to him, you even expect that I wish God would told him a dream about me that I'll be coming. Hmm? So there are those kind of things, man. It's only God. And God will tell you, yes, not by might, nor by power, but by my what? Spirit. Glory be to God. Genesis chapter 18, from verse 10, not from verse 11, from verse 10. The Lord comes and tells Abraham that, I will certainly return to you according to the time of life. And behold, Sarah, your wife, shall have a son. Now Sarah was listening in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were what? Old, well advanced in years, and Sarah had passed the age of childbearing. Therefore, Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I have grown old, shall I have pleasure? The pleasure of, of having a child, okay? Shall I have pleasure? My Lord, okay? The husband. Notice she's calling him Lord. Rachel, have you noticed that? Hmm? Or you haven't? Okay? Rachel has noticed. Glory be to God. Okay? So she said, after I've grown old, shall I have pleasure? My Lord being old also. As in, double trouble, man. Double negative. I am old. Okay? I am what? By the way, she's not only old, but when she was younger, she was also barren. So, double what? Now, triple. Abraham is also old. You know, eh? As in, he can't have a child. Okay? So, she laughed. The Lord was speaking. Okay? Sarah laughed. If she was a Ugandan in this day and age, she would say, Avalalu to Itanabo. Because the Lord who came in form of a human being. You understand? He didn't care what the glory of the Lord, you know. No, it was a man. Okay, remember, there were three men. Okay? I think one, one or two who were angels who proceeded to Sodom and Gomorrah. The Lord, okay, stayed with Abraham. Glory be to God. Hmm? But of course he knew Bambi, it was the Lord. But she must have been like, eh, God, the Lord has changed. <laughs> the promises he gives these days. Okay, he promises that these days. Why? Because at the Premier League, Esther, Premier League, five, eh, you, you know, eh? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, the Lord said to Abraham, to show that this was really the Lord, eh? as in God, okay? You remember, this first Lord, okay? There was a Lord, eh? Anyway, the first Lord was a single, eh? With a small L, eh? 
Okay? Now, this is now not the Lord. Now it is his name. So Yahweh, Jehovah, remember, the English, for some reason or the other, didn't write his name. Where you see capital L-O-R-D. So that's supposed to be the real name. And so, and the Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh, saying, shall I surely bear a child since I'm old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Okay? Mukazwa right here, say, say. Glory be to God. <laughs> For me, if I was Abraham, I was like, I mean, she's there. You are scared. She's the one who knows why she laughed. Now, 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 at the appointed time, I will return to you according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Hmm? Thereafter, Sarah even lies and says that what? I did not laugh. Man, <laughs> Christians, they can lie to God in his face. But God was like, anyway, what's it say? I told him, yeah, but you'll have what? What do you say, Katonda? What? Eh, Katonda. Naga, you, you know, eh? Okay. But anyway, he says that, is anything too hard for the Lord? Remember, Om Chalam Kade. Okay. In her younger days, she was even barren. Because now, this one is talking about, I think she's 89 right now. 89 people. 89. Because remember, she gave birth at 90. Kati, 89. Not 1989. 89 years. The husband is 99. Glory be to God. 99. Okay? Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Amen? Now, very quickly, Romans chapter 4. Okay? We shall read from uh, verse 18. It's talking about Abraham. It says that who Abraham, contrary to hope, in hope believed so that he became the father of many nations. Okay? Verse 19 says that, and not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about 100 years old and the deadness of Sarah's womb. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. And of course, you know what happened. Okay, Isaac came through whom, okay, yeah, glory be to God. Hebrews 11, by faith, Hebrews 11, verse 11. By faith, Sarah herself also, the woman who laughed and lied that she didn't laugh. It says that Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed. She bore a child when she was past the age. Why? Because she judged him faithful who had what? Promised. Therefore, from one man, and him as good as dead. As good as dead, as in can't have a child, okay? Okay? From one man, and him as good as dead, who are born as many as the stars of the sky in multitude, innumerable as the sun, which is by the sea shore. Glory be to God. Amen? Now, this is how God is going to to work with you this year. Glory be to God. God is going to pull off those things which you see. They're seemingly impossible. Glory be to God. But just as you are committed to doing good for him, he's also committed to doing good for you. And among the many good things he's going to do for you, he's going to fulfill certain promises 
Okay, some of them are going to be those which are seemingly impossible. Okay, to pull off. Okay. Remember, there's nothing too difficult for him. Nothing is impossible for him. Glory be to God. By his spirit, he's going to perform that good word which he gave you. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Last Adam Tabernacle, Christ for the Nations.